Oh no, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Might get a little creepy in there. But um, yeah, we did have really nice weather last week. Uh, now we're transitioning to a different kind of weather where we are in New Orleans. We have humid conditions. We have temperatures not that bad and 86 degrees in New Orleans and our dew point at 73. Here are current temperatures north and south of the lake, mainly in the low to middle 80s right now. And rain totals today were up to an inch or so or even more than that, like near two inches at Buras, near three inches at Slidell, but not quite an inch at some of our New Orleans locations and at Bell Chase and a few other spots too. So we did have the rain this morning. You may have heard that huge lightning uh, and thunderbolt. Uh, lots of lightning this morning. You heard the downpours and we still have some rain because we're entering this more kind of rainy, wet sort of pattern around home. There's actually a thunderstorm getting very close to you right now. Again, near 615 or so or actually before then, probably closer to about six or maybe even just before then you'll start to see the showers and thunderstorm kind of activity ramping up and we also have some right along the coast. So what to expect for this evening? We still have some spotty rain clearly out there, especially farther to the south. We may see some of that farther inland. Our rain chance overnight stays near about 30%. We stay humid and rainy tomorrow and Wednesday and probably even into Thursday. It looks like before we dry out at the end of the week. Rain totals for many of us will be a kind of standard up to two or three inches or so collectively over the week. But as you saw today, a couple of areas might get some heavy downpours. There is a low end risk for some flooding rains tomorrow and Wednesday, and there's also a low end marginal risk of severe weather, mainly wind gusts or some hail would be the things we're watching out for that uh, for tomorrow and into Wednesday. Drier and dusty air does move into the area late this week and this weekend, and that will be something kind of significant to talk about as well when we get there. Tonight, though, temperatures in the 70s are rain chance 30%. Tomorrow, I would expect Expect once again showers and downpours in the area. Our highs may touch 90 briefly and then quickly could decrease. Of course, it was, we do expect the showers and storms. This morning we had, of course, the early rain kind of drying out for the evening. Tomorrow, I think it may be more a midday sort of thing, which I'll show you in a second with our model. It may be possibly kind of around lunchtime into early afternoon, and then we may see some of it decreasing. We have a big upper level low and some disturbances riding with it, and that's kind of helping the rain to form. So that's why we're having these uh, rounds of rain this week. Here we are at 8 p.m. tonight, mainly quiet, maybe some coastal showers or rain. This is 7 a.m. tomorrow, starting off in the 70s, kind of a muggy start to our Tuesday, but again, might be mainly dry for the early part of the morning. We will see whether we have some of those nocturnal showers and storms along the coast that try to spread in during the morning, and then this could be around 11 o'clock. So yeah, lunch plans tomorrow. I would have umbrellas or rain jackets kind of ready because it does look like we'll have some rain in the area. This model and a couple of other models have things improving by afternoon and into tomorrow evening and then we'll do it again on Wednesday. As I mentioned, we have a new subtropical depression. This is subtropical depression four. This is this little area we've been watching off the coast of the northeast US, and you can see it does have convection or thunderstorms kind of swirling around the center, but it is not a fully tropical situation. It's not fully warm core up and down through its center. There is cold low pressure farther up, but it may briefly become subtropical storm Dolly if its winds are found to increase a bit and it is going to be moving over some warm water in the next maybe 24 hours or so kind of part of the Gulf Stream here. So we are looking at the potential for it to touch subtropical storm status. If it does, it would get the D uh, name Dolly and we'll be watching that, but it is moving away from land and should be weakening. After that, as I mentioned, we get a big plume of dry, dusty air blowing out over the Atlantic. All away from the Sahara Desert, and that will really influence our weather by this weekend, making it drier, hazy, hotter. We'll talk more about that coming up at six, but you can see our rain chances certainly on the higher side the next couple of days before we dry out later this week. Okay, thanks so much.